G'day friends, welcome to the video. I've got so much to show you from this fantastic, amazing, incredible trip that we had to Japan. We were there for just shy of two weeks, I think 13 days, and uh, revisiting all of the places that we used to love when we worked there. Steve and I both worked there, I don't know if you know this, uh, it's in a previous video, but uh, we both used to work for Tokyo Disneyland, so we were just having kind of a nostalgic trip. And uh, it was my birthday while I was over there, so Steve spoiled me rotten. I also spoiled myself rotten, which is something I don't typically do. Um, so you're going to see a lot of stuff flash before this camera. I hope I can get it all in there and you can see everything. If you've got any questions, pop them down below. Also, you'll see me creating with a lot of this stuff. So if there's something that you really kind of want to get a better look at, just look for it in the upcoming videos because I, I've already played with a ton of it and uh, I'm kind of excited to keep doing that. So you'll see it all flash before your eyes at some point. Anyway. Uh, I'm going to start with the most random stuff first, I guess. This is a bag that we picked up at Tokyo Disney Sea. Um, this is Gelatoni. He's a friend of Duffy, which is a friend of Mickey, like Mickey's teddy bear. Um, we also got this. It's basically, Gelatoni is a painter. He's a little Italian cat painter. This is a, um, what's it called? Pencil case that looks like a paint tube. And at the bottom, it's got this little thing for an eraser and a sharpener or whatever you want to put in there. So I'm completely obsessed. Uh, I'm just, for... Argument's sake, I'm going to say that all of this is unisex. <laughs> Not that it really matters with me anyway. And uh, Steve put, uh, picked this up because I really liked the tin and I thought I could put some pencils in there, but I... If I'm not completely sold on something, I really just won't pick it up and I won't take it. I might have an idea for it, but unless I'm completely sold on it, uh, I don't usually pick it up. But since this was my birthday trip, I guess, Steve just spoiled me with everything I kind of looked at. And uh, there were chocolates in there, but uh, that's the only one left. So I actually didn't eat all of those. I'm going to have to ask Steve what happened to that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to use that as a pencil tin. And also, at Tokyo Disney Sea, we picked up this Gelatoni washi tape. It's so kawaii. We also picked up these. Now, these are Alice in Wonderland washi tapes. Can you see that? I picked up two because I am going to do a giveaway with this one. So, I don't know what I'm going to do yet to give it away, <laughs> but I wanted to pick up two because I knew, uh, I know a lot of people like Alice in Wonderland and these are just so amazing, these washi tapes. There's a lot in there and, uh, and I mean, they're, they're totally, they're from Tokyo Disney Resort. So, how, how cool is that? How cool is that? I sound like such an old man today. Um, Tokyo Disney Resort washi tapes, some more, some uh, character washi tapes in uh, different forms. These ones are like photos from the characters around the park. I just love it. I love picking up uh, washi tape, obviously, and you're going to see a lot of it in this video, so brace yourself. That's everything from Tokyo Disneyland, I believe, and Tokyo Disney Sea. Uh, side note, Tokyo Disney Sea is one of my favorite Disney parks in the entire world. It's absolutely incredible. If you ever get a chance to go to Tokyo Disney Resort, make sure you visit Disney Sea for at least two days. Right, now I don't think I mentioned this, but I'm a little stuffy. I've got my allergies are back in full swing, uh, and <laughs> I, I'm just a little jet lagged. So sorry about my voice if I sound a little uh, groggy, but I'm just going to show you the rest of the washi tapes we picked up. Now there's absolutely no time to go through every single one of these, but I'll just give you a general disclaimer. <laughs> um, these are all from the Disney store, and there's uh, lots of princess ones and Toy Story. Mostly princess, I believe. And this one's um, Zootopia. Oh, I'm just dropping it. Pinocchio. This is a really, really cute... I picked up one, Steve picked up the rest. He, uh, I, I just don't think he wanted me to leave without anything. I think he was nervous that I was going to come home and say I, uh, I, I forgot to get something. And these were all just random washi tapes that I picked up. Some of them have been, been in my Insta story, so you've probably seen it. Um, but yeah, just cute little, like... Japanese things, these ones that I'm obsessed with. Now also, I have picked up, um, how do I say this, about <laughs> 20 bags worth of supplies, and I'm going to be putting together uh, some bags of all the stuff that I bought back from Japan, some of my favorite things, and a lot of it you'll see in this video, but I'm not going to tell you what are in the bags just yet. And I'm going to give, I think I'm making 20 bags, but I, I might, might change my mind on that. Uh, and I'm going to give 20 bags uh, to the store, to my Etsy. And so if you want to pick up all of my favorite things that I curated from Japan, uh, yeah, you should, uh, you should check that out whenever I, whenever I get around to putting those in bags and making a listing. Because they've got so much fun stuff in there. Uh, this beach party masking tape. Just cute little stuff.
So that's it for those washi tapes. Believe it or not, that's not the end of the washi tape collection. I'm gonna let the uh, the washi tape segue into my next collection of things. Uh, so here are the washi tapes from the Traveler's Factory store. Now this one is from the airport, and um, I also got one from the train station. I went to both. I did not go to the one in Nakameguro. Uh, that was, to be honest, 13 days was a, a nice amount of time to spend in Japan, but for people like us who just wanted to relive every memory that we had there, uh, it actually just wasn't long enough, so, um, I'll plan on getting back and I'll see everything again another day, but, uh, we did go to the Traveler's Factory store in Tokyo Station, and we did go to the one at Narita Airport as well, and they sell limited edition stuff, so, um, this is some of the washi tape that we picked up there. I also found this in a bookstore. Uh, I didn't actually get it at the Traveler's Notebook store, but it is Traveler's Factory. What Midori uh, customize your notebook kind of like roll stickers. They're just coupons, which I thought was super cute. Here is the little Traveler's Passport that I got. I don't know what size this is called. I guess passport size. And it come like, I found this little book kind of like uh, a zipper case. Oh yeah, it's a refill zipper case, but you can put your little book in there, like slide it in. So it's kind of like a clear cover for um, the little passport size because I was very, very spoiled, and I actually got these three notebooks while we were away. So I don't have any Traveler's Factory notebooks. I don't have uh, any of the merchandise. I've literally been coveting it from the moment that I saw people using it. I love the way that they age, and the leather is just gorgeous. And because I was in Japan, and I thought, well, I'm at the train station, why don't I get my hands on this limited edition train station one from Tokyo Station? So this one is just, this was the first one we picked up and uh, it's, it's absolutely stunning. This one was the second one we picked up, the olive one. Uh, I just love the olive one, I think it's so pretty. That color. I haven't even used them yet. And, uh, and this one is the one we got from uh, Narita Airport, which is the limited edition one for the airport. So yes, I was very excessive in picking up these three, but honestly, uh, how could I not? I guess is the better question. And while we were there, I thought uh, we should probably pick up some refills because I'm, I'm going to use them, obviously. And they had these limited edition refills. So this one is from the airport, uh, and this one came with the, the Traveler's Notebook. Um, the other one came, the Tokyo Station ones came with uh, limited edition ones as well. But I also picked up a few extra, so this is one that I picked up. And um, this train trip from Tokyo Station, I mean... They're the same thing. They're just notebooks, like they're exactly the same, but they've got these like lovely foiled stamped images on the front and you know me, like if it says limited edition, I'm gonna have a hard time trying to pass it up. Uh, they really get me all these advertising campaigns. This one's from the, the, the station as well, and they actually have these stamping stations, so you can completely customize like all your books with the stamps and you can put your stamps everywhere. They've got like the, the Traveler's Factory branding. They've got this Tokyo Station stamp that they have only at that store uh, and just other stuff that you can stamp on there. They've got like all these different Japanese cities and they've got, uh, you know, countries of the world at the one at the airport. So I just had a blast like stamping everything. And you'll see that in another notebook that I worked on while I was away, but I stamped everything. Every stamp I could get my hands on, I used it. <laughs> and uh, this one was from the airport as well. I'm not really sure which collab this is from. It says House Industries on the back, so probably them. And this is uh, the Mr. Softy, the Hong Kong limited edition one, which for some reason they were selling at the airport. So I thought I'm going to get my hands on that because I've been seeing this on Instagram and I, I wanted to get it. It's an ice cream. I love it. <laughs> uh, also, since we were there and I thought it's actually cheaper to buy them there than it is to get them shipped to me. So uh, I picked my my favorites up. I've got the uh, the blank MD paper, the 003. 
I've got the sketch paper one, and this is what I'm talking about, the extra stamps that you could use. You could take your book out and just stamp away. So I did that for this, and I did it for a couple of other ones too. Uh, so I got a few of these sketch paper ones, the 012. I got the 013, which is the lightweight paper. Um, that's the, what's it called? The Tomoe River paper, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it is. Either way, the lightweight. Uh, then I got craft paper, because you know I love craft paper. I'm obsessed. I got a craft paper folder, which was interesting. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to use the folder. I guess it's like what people call a dashboard. So uh, it might just be fun to decorate for me. And uh, here I got these refills for a short trip, which are basically half the price and half the book. So if you haven't seen these, I think these would be great if you're someone that's into a lot of collaging and, and tip-ins and stuff, and you find that maybe your, your inserts get too thick and uh, start cracking the spine and everything. Uh, maybe stuff like this might help you out. Uh, and uh, I don't know. I'm curious. I'm curious to use it all. I'm pretty sure it's exactly the same thing, just half the book, and it was half the price. So, Whilst we were there, Steve said I couldn't leave without this clip because he was obsessed with it, so I thought I'll get this clip then. Uh, we got this special brass medal, uh, this little medallion uh, thing for the tag, brass tag, from the Tokyo Station one, uh, so I'm excited to put that on. And I got this tag one from the airport that says Traveller's Notebook because of Tag Tuesday. I thought that was uh, just made for me. So I got that as well while we were there. Steve thought that I wouldn't be able to live without these stickers. So he picked up a bunch of these stickers. I stamped some of them so I'd have, uh, you know, the date that we were leaving and Japan, where we were, you know, etc, etc, etc. The Pan Man stuff, Pan Am, <laughs> Pan Am stuff. Uh, I used to love that TV show they had on Pan Am and I just think... Uh, that was all really, really cute. Some postcards to tip into my journal, just some more stickers, these cute little sets of stamps they were selling there, just like vintage stuff. So uh, now I know how everyone puts their traveler's notebooks together. You literally just need to stop at the store for about 20 minutes and you've got everything you need to make an amazing traveler's notebook. So I'm super excited to use that stuff. And funnily enough, Steve was so into it that while we were there, he picked himself up this Herbin pen. Uh, it's a really nice little writing pen. With a cartridge in there. Actually, I don't even think that cartridge is in. Maybe he's got to do something with that. I don't know. The one he tested in the store was pretty good. Uh, he picked himself up these stickers and he got a little camera one because he's a photographer. And he picked up this book, which is actually a spiral ring book. He's, so you can see he's stamped everything at the airport. Um, and it's Midori paper, so it's really, really, really nice. I picked this up for myself, and then Steve decided that it would be his. So I let him have it, because I've obviously I've got enough. And uh, he stamped the back and put his stuff on the back too. So uh, I think he's really excited to do this. He really uh, should write. Everyone's been telling him to write. I know he's very clever, so hopefully this will inspire him to write. But yeah, he picked that all out himself, because he, I guess he was just upset that I was getting too much. <laughs> no, no, he, uh, he was actually inspired to get something. That store, honestly, if you ever go to the Traveler's Notebook stores in Japan, there's, there's, you're not going to come away with nothing. So just keep that in mind. I actually even bought this, uh, this Palomino Blackwing at the store as well and some uh, Pigma Micron markers, but I'll get to the pens in a second. All right, let's jump into stickers because I've also got a bit of a sticker obsession. These uh, sticker, like point seals, just random little sticker things. Uh, the junk food one was from Steve, so I took that hint loud and clear. <laughs> I love this one. This one is so, so cool. Uh, I'll give it away. These, this one is actually a part of the, um, the set that I'm going to be offering in Etsy, uh, just because I thought they were just so amazing. I mean, if you look at all the incredible detail on those seals, and they're just like little stickers. You just peel them off and put them on, so I thought they'd be cute for like, I don't know, just mixed media stuff. These cute little ninjas. Just these little random... Uh, sticker steels. Well, some of them are like uh, normal sticker, kind of uh, plasticky, and some of them are like this paper washi type sticker. Especially these ones. These are these are really uh, sugoi Japanese. So I love these. <laughs> Here's something that I came across a lot in Japan too, and these are flake stickers. So I have never used these, I'll be honest, but I was kind of obsessed with them. And so I pulled some out, and they're just little stickers, little loose stickers. I've got some Nightmare Before Christmas, some Disney, a lot of Disney. Uh, I'm pretty sure this one is just vegetables and fruits. Oh, it says it on there, vegetables and fruits. So uh, the avocados. Don't know what I'm going to do with that, but I thought, how could I not pick it up? Um, some, oh, Cat's Paradise. So, <laughs> so this is probably going to be one of my faves, I'm just going to assume. Toy Story, Alice in Wonderland. Like, how cute, these little Alice in Wonderland illustrations. They're just fun little things to add to your journal. Here's some more Alice in Wonderland in a different style. 
and um, what's this called? Like seashells? Like aquatic kind of... I think it's just seashells and coral maybe. Oh, here. Here's everything in the back. So I thought they'd be really fun for like mermaid type pieces. Obvi. Uh, I got these stickers too because it's coming up to Halloween and I needed to get inspired. Also, I found a bunch of rub-ons that I thought were just so much fun. I'm super into rub-ons right now. So uh, these are the black cat ones. <laughs> so this is Bianca and uh, I found this boho one. I have the, um, what's this called? Travel? The travel one. And it's so odd because like we were in uh, Japan, but it's like San Francisco and uh, Los Angeles, London. I guess Tokyo is on there. Either way. Just super fun stuff. This is a California one, specifically for California, so I thought that was cool since I live here now. Succulents, because I'm a modern hipster. So, <laughs> San Francisco, because Steve was uh, born up north, and uh, even though it wasn't San Francisco, I thought this had some really fun stuff that I could use uh, in my journals. And Steve picked up this decoupage paper. I, like, I'll be honest, I don't think I'm going to use it, but he was so upset that I didn't want it. And uh, he said he was just going to buy it anyway. So we'll see if I get around to using this. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm going to guess not, but I'll, I should do it for him. Or maybe I'll put it on his book. Some other fun random little stuff I picked up. This is uh, from the Disney store. It's the... Actually, I don't know if it was from... Oh, it was from the Disney park. So sorry, this is... Again, this is from Tokyo Disneyland. And uh, they're just post-it notes, but you can see they've got different little illustrations on them. To-do list. There's a grid one, a message one, and a free one. So uh, I'm just, I'm really excited for these. I love to have uh, post-its to add into my journal, and especially these have little images on them and they're nice bright colors. I'll really enjoy that. I picked these up at a random bookstore uh, because there's uh, three different sizes of these and they come in different colors. So I thought it was a really great selection to have. And also they've got like a dot grid and one of them ha has uh, called the margin and the lines and then a grid. So I thought this is really, really cool to uh, just stick into my journal when I needed it. Alice in Wonderland tags. I have not opened this. I'm super excited so I'm gonna open it now. I always feel like it was just made for me if it comes in a tag form, so. Yeah, these are just cute little Alice in Wonderland tags. It's kind of like a notepad, I guess. And I got these label memos too because I, I was just in such a mood to pick these kind of things up and I thought they were just really interesting shapes and uh, cute designs that I could put in my journal. This I picked up at a clothes store. I just love these little stars. I don't know if I'm ever going to be bothered to hand by, like one by one put them on but I, I think I'm going to give it a go. Especially with some like mermaid things with this, this colour here. Uh, I picked these up. One of the trends in Japan at the moment is to have star like little sequins and stars and glitter like just under your eyes. So. Uh, I really want to do that, but I don't think it'll translate well in Southern California. Here are some little envelopes and little stickers. I just love these cute little things. I thought they'd be like a really great size just to stick straight into my traveler's notebook because they're quite thin and small. I found these on sale at a uh, department store and they're just grid notebooks. So I thought it was always good to uh, pick up stuff like that if it's super good quality and it's on such a discounted price. like. I really couldn't go past it. This is what I got from a bookstore as well. And now I'm not a planner, and to be honest, I didn't buy this so I would use it as a planner. I bought it because I love the illustrations in it. <laughs> it's a whole Peter Pan, uh, like, calendar. A monthly calendar and schedule and notebook, but all the illustrations are Peter Pan and stills from the movie and just, like, just amazing. I... Japan is one of the only places where you'll buy something like this and like every image will be different. So I am uh, I'm super obsessed with things like this and I've, I've bought something like this before and I still have all the uh, the picture pages from it because I never ended up finishing it, you know, you're using it as a, a journal or a diary. But I mean like, I'm yet to come across any of the images that are exactly the same. They, so I, I just, to me it's like, I would never buy this if the pa if the pages were like, you know, there were three images and they just repeated every three pages. I, I just don't like stuff like that because I think it's just, I'll get over it quickly. But this just has like everything in it. I'm just obsessed. I can't stop talking about it. I love it. I really hope it makes me plan, but to be honest, like, what am I going to write in there? Tuesday? Tag Tuesday? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I'm super obsessed. Steve picked one up as well, but his has all the Disney princesses in it. This is just strictly Peter Pan and, uh, and the subway maps of Tokyo because obviously I bought it in Japan and uh, most of their planners have these at the back. So 
yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm super obsessed with that. And it actually comes out, like this book insert comes out, so you can reuse the cover with the little Tinkerbell on it. Uh, and it just says Tinkerbell, Pretty Little Pixie. So I love that. Pick this up at the dollar store, just a little ruler and, uh, and like some icons stencil, I guess. I actually got given this as a gift, but uh, I couldn't have needed anything more. This is just a little uh, cutting mat and it's so small, like it's so portable and uh, travel sized and it's just amazing. And this says uh, Daiso Japan, so I'm assuming if you have a Daiso around you, you could probably pick one of these up there. But uh, yeah, this was actually given to me as a gift, so I was super excited for that. And also a part of that gift, I got given this uh, this origami paper. So just these sets of origami paper with this beautiful Japanese paper in it. So this is a really, really great stuff, obviously, when I'm uh, documenting my travels and using uh, all the stuff that I've collected to put into my notebooks. I'm going to use all of that, obviously. I'm just stating the complete obvious here. Two random things I picked up, uh, these Pentel watercolours. And um, I, they're just in a tube. And this is silver and this one's white. I got them just so I could play with them. I don't know if I'll like it, but you know, you never know until you try it. So I'm going to use that. I got this at Disneyland as well. It's the uh, Toy Story uh, Delgard, what's it called? Mechanical pencil. And uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty great. Steve and I have these shirts, like these design shirts, the collage shirts. I, I got a Peter Pan one and Steve got an Ariel one. And then Steve expanded his collection to two Ariel shirts, one Belle, one uh, Jasmine. What's that called? Aladdin. So Beauty and the Beast and Aladdin. And he was looking for a Rapunzel one, but he just couldn't find them. Uh, I got this uh, Mono Tombow Black Eraser. Uh, little side note, the mini versions of these are also going to be in that bag that I end up giving away uh, on my Etsy. So uh, if you're into one of these, because uh, they're really, really fantastic, then uh, check out that. They've got mini sizes in that bag that I'm going to put up for sale. Uh, here are the pens. Uh, the pens and the markers and the paint markers and the pencils and anything else I decided to pick up. Uh, through my travels. Some of these were from the most random places, literally like from a 7-Eleven. So uh, I don't know where I got a lot of them from, but just know that it, they could have been from anywhere. These are Sarasa, the zebra, oh my goodness, I can't speak. These are zebra, uh, the Sarasa milk colors. So these are like a gel pen in 0 0.5. I picked up a couple of those. Uh, I really, really do like those. So they're also going to be in that bag, as well as this Kira Rich. <laughs> I had to do the accent, sorry. Uh, it's a Kira Rich highlighter. And the interesting thing about this is I hate highlighters, but this is, Kira means like sparkle in Japan. So uh, they're actually full of sparkles. And where is the, where's the camera? Can you see those sparkles? So I am super obsessed with these and I decided to put those in the bag because I was, uh, I'm just so obsessed. I have these three. And uh, I'll obviously be using these, and you can see what I end up doing with them and, and the sparkle in them. But for now, I'm just going to go through them all. I showed you this Palomino Blackwing that I got from the Traveler's Notebook store. I'm super excited to use that because I know it's a very good quality pencil. I got these two pencils from a, a, a kid's stationery section. This one's a Pilot Friction colored pencil. So what it means is that uh, a lot of this stuff in Japan at the moment is uh, called friction, uh, and they've developed leads and inks and stuff that will erase when uh, the friction is applied. So they've got these little rubber ends on them, and so they're not erasers. They're actually just kind of rubber to uh, to create the friction, and the heat removes the, the lead or the ink. So I picked that up because I thought it's kind of like a color erase pencil, which I don't have, so I don't know to compare it, but... Uh, this is the pilot version, so I thought it was really, really fun. And this one here is just a Mitsubishi colored pencil, and I like to sketch in red, so I, I always like to pick up a red pencil if I find one that's interesting or new or different. I got a lot of just different brush pens that I wanted to test out. Some of them I've already tested out and used. I really do like this sign pen. I like the Zebra sign pen so, so much, so uh, I did go out and get a bunch of these for the bags as well. Uh, they're not all this exact uh, type, but they're all sign pens. So it means they're all like these really little uh, brush. They're like a really hard little brush pen. I got this uh, Pilot pen from the convenience store from the 7-Eleven. Have no idea what it does. Uh, I just wanted to try it out. Actually, you know what? I don't think it's a pen. I'm pretty sure it's a mechanical pencil. Yep, it's a mechanical pencil, so uh, that was fun for me to figure out just now. 
<laughs> a mechanical pencil. Cool. This Zebra um, disposable fountain pen. I'm super curious to see if this works to my liking. Uh, yeah, test that out. Now, there was a Muji about like 10 minutes from my front doorstep, so I found it really hard not to buy a lot of stuff from there and uh, go through all my savings. But these I actually bought after the fact, and I have a 05, so I bought another one. I bought a couple. But some of these are really interesting colors. And uh, this 0.38 is such a hard size to find, and I really, really like the size of this pen. So I actually got a ton of these for the bags as well. So if you're interested in getting one of these uh, difficult to find Muji pens, I uh, ended up getting, I think for the bags, I got the pink and this dark blue. So uh, there'll be different variations on the bag, I guess, depending on which color pen you want or uh, well, which one is available, I guess. But um, yeah, those, those Muji pens are in there as well because I, I really, really love these. And uh, that size is pretty, pretty spot on for like what I like to do. They're just a ballpoint pen, but they're really, really good. I got these magic pens and I have no idea what they do. So I can't wait to figure out what's magic about those and I'll let you know. I'm as confused as their logo. I got this, okay, so these look exactly the same to me, but they're actually not. This one's Mitsubishi and this one's Tombow. And this is a play color. And I actually just think it's a double-ended marker. Like this is like a, a, what is it called? Like a felt tip end. And this one is just a, a marker end. But I did test them out on the paper and they seemed really, really good. So, like really, really saturated and really, really uh, nice ink. I picked up some of these Uniball Signo in a 0 0.38 because like I said, kind of a weird size to try and find. Um, and I mean, maybe it's called something different in the States. Maybe it's just called a one or something. But uh, yeah, I just, all of this stuff is just stuff I don't come across very often. And uh, so I wanted to try out these really interesting colors. This purple is really, really pretty. Uh, it's like exactly how it looks in the cap. So it's just fun to have these, uh, this stuff, isn't it? I mean, we just love to play with it. This little beige sand colored one. Love that. I got this, uh, the Pigma Sakura Microns in 01 and 005. I got these from the Traveler's Factory store in Tokyo Station. Um, and yeah, I'm just, I really love, uh, I really love these pens. Unfortunately, I'm really heavy-handed and stuff like this gets destroyed pretty quickly, so I usually am trying to pick up uh, these really, really fine-sized pens quite often because I just destroy them as soon as I use them. This here is a friction... Uh, it's it's kind of like a marker, but it was with all the highlighters, so I'm not really sure what's it, what it's supposed to be. Um, but I got one in this, like, uh, peach, like, light peach color. Don't know, just thought it'd be fun. And there's that end that is supposed to erase it uh, if you want to get rid of it. This is that ink that's formulated to be erasable with uh, heat. And these are some paint markers I got. This is the Pilot Juice Paint. So I'm really, really curious to use this one because I've never used a, um, I've never used one like this. And these are the Posca, but these are interesting Poscas that I haven't really seen out here before. They've got these uh, like rectangular or square caps. And um, this one I think has glitter in it. And this is just a white, but it's a, it's a fine one. It's a 0.7 millimeters. So I'm just going to see if I like those and uh, yeah, I'll let you know. So that's basically everything. I know it was a lot. Um, I'm, I'm very, very spoiled. I'm very, very happy and very, very lucky. I, I enjoyed the entire holiday and I've got so much to share more about that in more videos. But I just wanted to give you a look at everything that we picked up, everything that you'll see me playing with in a few weeks and uh, just get you excited for that because I know stuff like this gets me really excited when I see new stuff. Uh, being used and where I can get it and maybe the possibility of having some of my own. Uh, I did want to bring back enough to make some bags to uh, to sell so that I could share in all of this experience with you. And uh, yeah, so if you're if you're excited about that, let me know. And if, if there's anything that you're interested in seeing being put to use, just keep watching, I guess, because it's all going to come out eventually. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching everyone. I'm glad to be back. Hopefully I get over my jet lag soon and there'll be a ton more content for you guys coming in the weeks to come. Does that make sense? Okay, bye.